I do believe that uh, we have survived all of the attacks and the uh, Punishers, and uh, um, we kind of had a little bit of fun with all the punishment stuff, so hopefully you realize that punishment isn't always the most ethical way to change behavior. Uh, for various reasons, as you noticed, that I was avoiding, uh, right? I was able to predict it, I was able to, or, and then one of the side effects is also imitating it, and so on and so forth. So uh, we had a little bit of fun with the punishment, uh, so, so we're done with that particular piece, but we did want to keep going on with the rest of the evaluation here. Um, so let's jump back into it, and here we go. We often talk about teaching people to fish. Well, you know what? Screw that. I'm just going to teach them to go out and eat. I don't need him to go fish right now. I need him to put fish in my pocket. I need to be able to feed my family. So I am absolutely going to focus on milking this for as long as I can. I don't, you know, they've, ethically speaking, they've hired like 30 people anyway. So none of what I'm doing is going to have any bit of effect at all uh, because they've already hired tons of people. Um, so if they want to measure effectiveness, hooey, it's not even going to happen. I don't even care anymore. Okay, um, well, I didn't get shot, thankfully. Um, we did at least violate um, 2.09. Uh, so 2.09 being uh, the, whoa, lost it here. Um, what do we have? The treatment intervention efficacy. And what we're really talking about is how the client has a right um, to the to effective treatment. And you heard me talking about that repeatedly, how um, the client does not, uh, did, we really didn't care, right? So we're just like, whatever. Um, we're, we don't care what they're doing. We don't care what's going to go on. We don't care if it's going to be effective. We just care about collecting a paycheck. That's just woefully unethical. Um, and I think the bigger picture here with this isn't even an ethical violation. Well, I suppose it is an ethical violation, but it's really getting outside of what ABA is all about, right? So in general, you see this whole thing talking about teaching people to fish, right? But I'm saying, no, we're not going to teach them to fish. Um, we just we want them to go out and eat. Um, so the point being there that we're violating, I, I don't know how many of the seven characteristics, right? And I'm not going to go through all the seven characteristics, um, but social significant behavior and so on and so forth. So there's a whole bunch of things in there that we're violating. We're really just not being behavior analytic. As a behavior analyst, your idea, the goal is to build behavior. You're going to strengthen behavior. You're going to teach people to do things. You're not going to do it for them. You're not going to fill in the gaps. You're literally going to teach people. So that applies in whether you're working with a clinic with kiddos or you're working with a business in an OBM setting. So keep that in mind, folks. we are got to keep that seven principles front and center every time you're working in the field. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, and of course, our standard ethical violation here of 2.09. So thanks. I know this is a quick one. We'll see you again for another one.